Kamehameha I had began his campaign to unify Hawaii in 1783. During this time, Kamehameha had been equipping his army with modern muskets and cannons, as well as training his men on how to use them under the direction of the British sailor John Young. In February 1795, he assembled the largest army the Hawaiian Islands had ever seen, with about 12,000 men and 1,200 war canoes. Kamehameha initially moved against the southern islands of Maui and Molokai, conquering them in the early spring, and then invaded Oahu. With the help of Western weapons and advisors, Kamehameha won first battles at the Iao Valley in Maui and the Nuuanupali on Oahu. The Battle of Nuuanu began when Kamehameha's forces landed on the southeastern portion of Oahu near Waialei and Waikiki. With its leadership in chaos, the Oahu army slowly fell back north through the Nuuanu Valley to the cliffs at Nuuanupali. Caught between the Hawaiian army and a 1,000-foot drop, over 700 Oahu warriors either jumped or were pushed over the edge of the Pali. Kamehameha's unification of Hawaii was significant, not only because it was an incredible feat, but also because under separate rule, the islands may have been torn apart by combating Western interests. In an area in Honolulu named Kaka'ako, Kamehameha's army was training to conquer Kaui, his queen, Kiupalani, as well as Kahuna Hewa Hewa, was on the land. Near this encampment, there was a natural spring water area called Kawayahau, which is where the Kawayahau Church was born. 